local friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on July 27th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes and volcanoes, and a look at world weather. The last 48 hours on our sun, not too many sunspots that are earth facing right now. We do have outgoing bright regions and a couple incoming bright regions. One Earth-facing sunspot in the Southern Hemisphere. Looking at the last 48 hours. Looking at the cresting limb. Plasma filament still dancing around in the Southern Hemisphere. Other than that, no major solar events have been thwarted our way. Although two CMEs were detected. Or sorry, two solar flares were detected producing a CME in the outgoing position right at Mars. Plasma filaments stretched right across the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere right now as we're going through a quiet region of the Sun. As I said, only those two outgoing and as well Earth-facing sunspot in the Southern Hemisphere and then we've got two brighter regions that are incoming. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. We've already been hit by the space weather event from our last solar flare and CMEs, producing over 680 kilometers per second solar winds. And then as predicted and as forecasted, after all of this pressure released on our planet, we were to expect earthquakes and they came big time. If you don't know already stay tuned we're going to give you a quick earthquake update after a quick look here at lasco two and three showing the energy taking off from our sun this is the last 24 hours of imagery you can see that small blast taking off from the right hand side in the outgoing position showing that here in the space prediction spiral small event taking off right at mars our real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 400 kilometers per second right now. After, as I said, it was jacked up to, it popped up to 680 kilometers per second the other day. But we've had quite a charge with the density and the temperature, the solar winds, especially with this impact here. And that was right around that large earthquake last night. 7.0 earthquake rocking the Philippines early this morning for them. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range right now after hopping up. You can see that there. One pretty strong C-class solar flare, almost M-class, and the other was just a regular C-class. Geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated. Going into the 28th, it's going to change. Looking at the NOAA space prediction spiral, just a comparison. And it looks like we're going to be bombarded here for the next few days, the 28th, 29th, and 30th. Especially when it comes to the velocity, and that is the below graph. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 10. It's been pretty low for the last two days now after a large hit with the space weather event. Amplitude of 10, quality of 6, power of 6. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as we just did have a pretty strong earthquake here. 6.2 in Calama, Chile. That was at a 98 kilometer depth. After all of this activity in the Philippines and the Kermadex, boy oh boy, this was forecasted. The last video I gave you guys a big heads up to expect some large earthquakes. Now let's have a look at the last 48 hours around the world for earthquakes. Largest being the 7.0 that was reported in the Philippines last night. I did go live, I did not make a video, but here we are 
in Dolores, Philippines, a 7.0 earthquake and about six aftershocks through the region. 5.7, 4.7, 4.9, San Ramono, and northward. And it kind of just spread away from the, enter, the epicenter as well off the coastline there with the 5.1. So very active region. We were expecting this. And boy, oh boy, did we get hit. Sitting at over about 215 earthquakes, or sorry, 240 earthquakes across the USGS map. And we did have another 5.7 earthquake today, Fiji Islands, but 544 kilometer depth. That's pretty deep for that size and magnitude of an earthquake. Hawaii seeing a, quite a bit of activity here as well. 4.6 in Nahayu, Hawaii. And the earthquakes are spreading southward off of the island as well. Even up into Canada, Prince Rupert, Canada, 4.8 earthquake. North, the Juan de Fuca Plate. Pretty rare earthquake reported a 2.5 here in St. Regis Falls, New York City. As well, Nebraska reporting a 3.6. White City, New Mexico still seeing earthquake swarm. They see now about a dozen a day in the same area. Got to wonder what's going on there. And then this is before we got updated on the large 6.2 earthquake. I was going to put out a forecast saying watch South America. And yeah, beginning of the video, we showed you there the 6.2 earthquake that struck. Quiet across most of the Indian plate right now, except for one 4.4 reported north. Most of the activity is in the west ring of fire, up into the northwest parts of the ring of fire, even Russia, Kamchatka. So heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared, everybody. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that was affected to that in that large Philippines earthquake. Many lives were lost and many people are missing. Many buildings are damaged, totally demolished in some areas. And it was a strong earthquake. Some people reported it lasting for about a minute and a half. This is the look at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet definitely saw an increase here in the last 48 hours after the pressure was released from our sun's solar winds grip. Quick look here at satellite imagery around the world as well, giving you an update on all of the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at Semeru in Indonesia, Karamiski, Russia, Ebeko in Russia, Sabankaya in Peru, Tacono in Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Sangay in Ecuador, Shevlich in Russia. Seeing a pattern here where all the earthquakes are happening. Some major volcanoes are erupting as well. Era in Japan. Sakurajima had a huge eruption the other day. Luckily, because that's a very quiet region, is Japan. So heads up, Japan. Looking at satellite imagery around the world, we have two tropical systems to talk about. 8E is live, and as well, Frank is alive, both in the East Pacific, and won't be heading to land anytime soon. Really dry conditions all across the North America right now. As well, dry conditions across Australia, except for Southeast and Southwest parts. Could see a strong typhoon here developing in the long range. Not anytime soon, though. We also could see our first large Atlantic hurricane developing off the coast of Africa. Pretty big low has developed off the coastline there. Quite a bit of dust from the Sahara Desert it was wrapped up in that large system. Still a very surprising low hurricane season for the Atlantic. So heads up, stay aware, prepared, and stay tuned to daily events 
as we will be giving you forecast models the next couple days and we'll see what will be developing this is all a live satellite imagery for you around the world moisture and systems most of them are coming from over north bc down through the prairies and then getting locked up in the hudson bay gaining strength huge high pressure ridge still locked in on the west coast right now so dry warm conditions all up into the pacific northwest many reports of some strange things happening so stay tuned for the next video here with daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do bye bye now If you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world